It's the National Football League on EA Sports, where division rivals will clash in the AFC West. It's the Broncos and the Silver and Black, and it's coming up next on Madden Football. Even with all the buildings along the Las Vegas Strip and all the action here, this is one of the city's biggest attractions. Allegiant Stadium opened back in 2020. Today, we're set for a good AFC matchup between the Denver Broncos and the Las Vegas Raiders. Welcome in, everybody, with Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, so much gets made about offensive comparisons. Here's a matchup where the defenses may just take center stage. Yeah, we're usually talking about guys scoring touchdowns. How about the guys who prevent them and change the momentum of the game when they take the ball away? I love those ball hawks in the secondary. People after my own heart. Vegas taken at the goal line and no alley to be found the coverage was solid and he's dropped at the 18 the Raiders set to go to work behind their veteran quarterback and that's Derek Carr and they certainly have taken Herbert Long to earn his status as one of the league's best and most entertaining passers locked and wounded at every snap in the second season opening, that ball is soaring downfield. You better be on your toes against him on defense. The second you turn your head, he'll burn you. carry for Brandon Bolden and he'll be corralled right around the 34 that's a start they can live with 15 yards on their first play from scrimmage well there you go this offense up to a strong start this afternoon yeah the big run and a first down that's putting what you practice into play that's excellent execution to get things started From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Carr going to throw. Looking deep for Adams. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. There is something to a game plan with trying to keep a defense honest with a guy with that type of speed. You do so. Send him deep. Try to throw some air under it and hope you connect downfield. On that play, they run successful. Now Carr, after the incomplete pass, brings him up second and ten. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. Catch is made by Hunter Renfro. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. The pickup goes for 16 and a Raider first down. Never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys that we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed, and they catch a lot of footballs as we just saw there. with a play fake to Jacobs. 
That's caught by his tight end, Foster Moreau. And this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. Three yards remain for second down. First rep of the game for Josh Jacobs. Seven yards there and a first down. Yeah, once more, strong running. Excellent blocking at the point of attack. Look at that little drive for him right here. First and ten, here's Carr. And it's complete to Adams. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the ten-yard line. That'll be marked as a 27-yard pickup. A lot of precision being shown on this opening drive. They've been methodical, they've been crisp, and as a reward, they're going to be set up with an early first and goal. From the 10, first and goal. Here's Jacobs. Trying to run inside, but nothing there. That's a no game. The will be second and goal. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. Another shot from the nine on second and goal. One more time with Jacobs. And he will maneuver his way down to about the seven. It's a pickup of three, but still a little work to do on third and goal. Driven it down the field nicely here on the opening drive, but now it's put up or shut up. No doubt about it, because to make that type of a drive and ultimately kick a field goal would feel very disappointing. But I'm just wondering, is the head coach thinking, is this four down territory? Might he go for it? And he finds Waller in the end zone for a Raider touchdown. A seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Raiders are on the board first here this afternoon. Now for the extra point, Daniel Carlson. And that makes it 7-0 Vegas. So that drive consumes nine plays all time. And it concludes with a touchdown reception by Darren Waller. decade in the NFL, he doesn't get enough credit for not just his consistency, but his brilliant play and leadership as well. He's won a Super Bowl in Seattle. He's led his team to another Super Bowl opportunity also in Seattle. His numbers are always terrific, almost always in the Pro Bowl, and all his team does is win. This guy's a natural leader. So first and 10 here for Wilson and the Broncos at their 25-yard line. 
Now a man who began with the Raiders. It's Latavius Murray. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. The success there, Charles, coming on the outside of the field, the ground game. Curious to see if that continues as we progress. Yeah, we often talk about a variety in play call, and usually between run and pass. But in this case, with strictly the run game, you can be creative there as well. Run it inside, run it outside, keep the defense off balance. Throwing on second and three. Wilson, this goes to the tight end, Aaron Solberg. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Denver has a first down on the 15-yard play. We'll see what kind of mindset they have here offensively after giving up the touchdown on the opening drive. And based on our time with them, you know, prior to this game, I feel like they've got a good mindset going in. In fact, the discussion that we had with the coaching staff was, you know, we may give up some points in this game, so our offense has to be ready each and every time to either equal or try and get us ahead and try and keep us ahead. This is their chance to respond to that first touchdown given up. Clock rolling as we hit the midway point of this first quarter. On first and ten, it's Wilson. This one complete to Jerry Judy. And he's going to be marked down just inside the 35. So here's a first and 10 now in Raider territory at the 34. From the shotgun, Wilson. Buying time to his left. Throw over the middle, taken in by Dulcich. And they'll work this down inside the 30. Another completion right there. And again, Charles, good time in the pocket. That offensive line on this opening drive been really solid. They've been more than solid. They've really tamped down the pass rush and kept him safe in the pocket, able to look around, find his target, and deliver. He's got to make sure he tells the offensive line in the huddle. Thanks, fellas. Let's keep it going. To throw again is Wilson. And that'll fall incomplete. He was hit just as he let that go. And now it's third down. The coverage keyed in on him since that last completion his way. He earned a little more attention on that route, and that made it a lot tougher to get a clean throw his way. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. Here's Wilson. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Credit the sack there to Chandler Jones. Okay, I'm not sure you could actually draw a better pass rush than that one right there. Nowhere to go outside. He had to keep backing up and backing up and backing up. Eventually dropped for a huge loss. So call it a 57-yard attempt. And this won't get there. Won't be on the line either. It's no good. Off to the right. And this will stay at a seven-point game. Well, Brandon, anything beyond 50, you start rolling the dice a bit. And once you get up around 57, 58 yards, the chances of making it go down dramatically. And sure enough, this one winds up no good. Second drive of the game coming up for this Las Vegas offense. They've got the 7 0 lead. Now they've got the football back after their defense got the stop, CD. And you get the feeling if they could score here, they really have all the momentum on their side. And you just wonder right now, is the quarterback and the play caller totally in sync? Are they of one mind that, hey, what worked last time? Let's keep doing it until they stop us. Or do they go to a different section in the playbook, show them something different? Either way, they want a repeat of their first drive. Meanwhile, Carr's throw taken in by Adams. 
Solid way to start the drive. 13 yards, picking up the first. Someone sharp in this game. I okay, a touchdown pass on the first drive. It comes right back, and he's playing it in around really well here. Really nice throw there to pick up the first down. You, you kind of just feel a laser focus and confidence about him, and I think we saw that this week, didn't we? Talking to him and the coaches, they felt good about his performance coming up. Yeah, I was really impressed with that last practice we saw when they went through two-minute drill, when they went through all the different situations. Ball hardly hit the ground, and I thought, yeah, he might be locked in for this one. The car's throw complete to Hollins. And he'll be taken down here just shy of the 30. Ran a perfect defense in this situation. Would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. And he'll be marked down at about the 26-yard line. We have to talk about understanding the playbook, understanding progressions, and understanding what the defense is doing. We saw all of that on that play. Great recognition and understood where his running back was going to be. Found a way to have him leak out underneath, hit him with the football, and they picked up the first down. Here's Jacobs on first and 10. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. That one good for 17 yards. And now they've got it first and goal. They're making it look easy out there. Another first down. So, so far on this drive, let me do this little bit of math here. Four plays, three first downs. That's a pretty good recipe for success. to the goal line. And the ball smack dab on the five-yard line. Here's second and goal. Now a toss to the left for Jacobs. And he is going to lose yardage here. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play. So now third down coming up. The short field shrinks even more with the type of bodies they brought in on that play. Those extra tight ends, they weren't able to secure their blocks. And that one ended up going backwards. So they're back at the seven now for third and goal. Now Carr. That one thrown away from the pocket. The officials kind of look at each other, but they'll say there was a receiver in the area, so no penalty, just an incomplete pass. Nice call by the defense there on third down. Just flood the field with extra defensive backs in their dime package. Nowhere to go with the football. Forces the incompletion. The kick by Carlson is good, and that'll do it for the first quarter play. 10-0 to score after one on EA Sports. Second quarter from Vegas, the homestanding Raiders with a football here. on the return from his end zone. So now the second drive offensively coming up for the Denver Broncos. Nothing for him yet from an offensive standpoint. Down 10 zip as they come up first and 10.
To throw is Wilson. This one swung out to Williams. And able to get this across the 20 before going out of bounds. And that's the type of play that gives you a chance to win. Nothing forced downfield where you don't have a guy open. Swing it out to the back and maybe even check it down, whatever you want to call it. Gain of five. You're just trying to get four on first down. They're ahead of the chains now. To throw again on second down. Wilson. That's complete to the tight end, Sauber. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Let's just break this down and make it pretty simple. Key to the drag route, letting the play develop, finding the hole in the defense, and giving your athlete, yes, athlete, a chance to make something happen once he has the ball in his hands. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Now Wilson. And that is incomplete. He did a fine job there not hitting him before the ball arrived. And I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. Wilson will throw again. Man open. He's got it complete to Cortland Sutton. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. A couple of veterans. Wilson to Sutton there for the Bronco first. All defense is worried that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it can turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal game. Throwing again on second down. Wilson. And the Raiders have got him. Max Crosby able to use that strength to get him for a loss of two. It seemed like he kept going through those progressions, and I thought he might dump that underneath, but he couldn't get rid of the football in time. And I have to wonder if he was thinking while he was back there, I wish there were a lot less progressions on this play, just someone that I could dump the ball to and get it out of my hands. It's third and long now for Wilson and the Broncos after that sack. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. And he'll find Washington, that's complete. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle comes at the Raiders' 38-yard line. His first catch, and it's a pretty big one. They get the conversion on third down. Yeah, these are the types of plays they're going to need to hit on if they're going to get back into this game. It hasn't been the greatest of first halves. But this is a nice throw here on third down, and they keep the drive going. So here's a first and 10 now in Raider territory at the 38. Out of the gun, here's Wilson. Throw right side is going to be caught by Judy. And he's going to get this down near the 25. They should put the coverage guys in a stress on that one. They thought they were going deep. Ends up curling inside for a nice chunk of yardage. Play action. Now Wilson. Dancing to his left. 
That one tipped, and it's incomplete. But good hands there defensively. And it's second down. I know we spend a lot of time talking about how the defensive backs read routes and, and make plays on the football. How about a good linebacker? Feeling the route, seeing the quarterback, jumps the play, and knocks it away. Really well done. On second down, Williams. They'll get him to the ground at the 20, following a pickup of four. Well, they certainly had success throwing the ball in this drive, and not as much running it as we just saw once again on that last play. Stopped after a very short gain. But I wouldn't abandon the run totally, because otherwise, pass rushers just tee off on your quarterback. It makes it very, very difficult for him in that situation. On third down, Wilson. Got a man. It's Judy complete. And the Broncos are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. And this is an offense in need of getting a few good things to happen. Here's one right here. They've had their share of struggles in key moments, but that's a nice throw and nice work after the throw. And they're set up now with a first and goal. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. They'll try and run. This is Williams. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. Give him four on the carry there. It's second and goal. It's larger than the air attack has gotten them down here, but now is where you start to lean on that running game. That's a good pickup there on first and goal. From the two now, second and goal. Williams again. Trying to find a lane, but he finds nothing but the Federals. Stop for no gain at the two-yard line. Nothing doing there as the 13th play of the drive proves to be unlucky. His path became similar to almost running a stretch play, didn't it? Trying to find a crease, anywhere to put his foot in the ground and cut back. It just never materialized. This offense, two for two on third downs on this drive. This is the most important of them all, third and goal. Williams. He's not going to get there. That won't even be close. It was blown up in the backfield. That'll make it fourth down after a loss of one. With the way things have gone in this game, I think they've got to consider going for it here. I realize it's just the second quarter, so they're not panicking, but they need something to give them positive momentum to get things going. Fourth down, Wilson trots off, and on comes Brandon McManus for the Denver field goal. From the right hash at a bit of a tight angle. The kick by McManus is good. And they get themselves on the board here. It's 10 to 3. So a long drive gets them down inside the five, but ultimately they settle for just the field goal. And I have to think that if maybe they were a yard closer, that would have made their decision tougher, and I think they likely would have gone for it. But in this situation, they just decided to take the three, and I think it was a smart move. After splitting the uprights, McManus to kick it away. Take it in at the three. And he returns this to the 22. Here's Las Vegas ready to take the field. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points and, is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. Carr and the Raiders come up first and 10 at their own 22. They'll try and start this drive in the air. And it's complete. This is Brandon Bolden. And he's able to get out to the 32 brought down there. And just in general, Charles, on a play like that, how tough is it for the defense to account for a running back essentially being a receiver downfield? It's very difficult, especially 
if the running back has skills like a receiver, and you're aware of that before the game even begins. So throughout your practice sessions, you're going to want to be aware of him. Where is he lining up? What can he do? What kind of damage can he do to us downfield? And who can match up with him without weakening our overall defense? You're exactly right. It's a tough task to match up to him. Second and inches is oftentimes an invitation for an offense coordinator to take a big shot downfield because he feels like he can come back on third down and pick up the first down. But sometimes you just don't want to break tendency. Stay with what you are, stay with who you know, and go get the first down. That's exactly what they did. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Here's Carr to throw. They swing that out wide to Jacobs. And he was able to shed one tackle but could not get away from there. So the completion good for just three. And that'll make it second down. That's a good job there by the corner. We do talk about this a lot, that a lot of corners see their job is simply covering receivers. Tackling isn't everyone's thing. But in this case, he came up quickly and made a nice, sure tackle. From the 44, Carr. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far. It brings up third down. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. Throwing his car on third down. He'll let this go for the end zone. And oh no, it's incomplete. Well, it's a touchdown if he holds on, but somehow took his eyes off of it, falls to the ground, and brings up fourth down. Here's A.J. Cole now to punt this one away. And no one there to stop it. Hits at the eight, but it carries all the way into the end zone for a touchback. The Broncos are about set to go on offense. Their drive last time, it stalled out. They were forced to take the short field goal. And the key phrase, you nailed it. Forced to, because you know coaches look at these short field goals as a last resort, right? To them, that's not how drives are supposed to end. You're supposed to put six on the board. That's a consolation prize, like going to the county fair. You don't get the big stuffed animal on that one, do you? No, you don't go top shelf. That's bottom shelf material. They begin the drive with Williams. And he's going to get seven out of this before being taken down at the 27. Give him seven yards on the carry, and it will take us to the two-minute warning. Operating from the 27 now. Here's second and three. Now it's Wilson. Got an open man here. It's K.J. Hamler. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. He's got his first catch here before halftime, and it goes for a first down. The Broncos in their hurry up, try to get to their positions and get set quickly. On first down, Wilson. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Murray. And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. Nice job there, right, of just going through the progressions, finding the open man, even if it wasn't for a 25-yard game. Everything does not have to be spectacular. The mundane works pretty well in this league, as we just saw there. Wilson trying to urge his guys to go faster and get set at the line. To throw is Wilson. To throw on second down. Being chased out left. And he will go down outside of the pocket for a sack. Trying to get away but could not. The defense rising to the challenge and setting him back on the sack. But he continues, Charles, to be under constant pressure. These sacks, they're starting to pile up. And if they want to have a realistic chance in this one, They've got to change their blocking assignments. They've got to do a better job to keep him upright. If he's going to be on the deck constantly, they've got no chance to win this game. And 
it's third and long now for Wilson and the Broncos after that sack. Up the middle, it's Williams. The Raiders got to use one of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. So on fourth down, the Broncos send Corliss Waitman out to punt. This will be fielded at the 17. Seven yards on the return after a punt of 39. And it'll be Raiders football first and 10. The Raider offense going to head out now late in this first half. And with a seven-point lead, they'll likely look to take this to the locker room and not really press the issue. On first down, Carr. Open man, that's Renfro. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. Now the Raiders going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. Car now to throw. He sets to fire deep. And incomplete on the deep ball. Well, the incompletion, yes, but maybe here not the worst thing in the world? No, not on first and ten. Actually gives them a chance to regroup, relax just a little bit. They huddle up, talk it over, and then they get a chance to continue their drive. Now Carr, after the incomplete pass, brings him up second and ten. Back to throw. And that'll be off the mark too far out in front, and it's incomplete. Now you put just a little bit too much heat on that one. When you throw it to the outside, you do have to be careful because you got to keep it away from the defender. But you also have to give your own guy a chance, too. So now third and ten, a big play to start the drive, but nothing since. Now, Carr again. He's going to find and complete it to Renfro. And they'll get him down at the 34, and he's going to be short of the first by a few yards. It's on fourth down, and on comes Daniel Carlson for the field goal try. On the right hash, officially, this will be a 51-yard attempt. The kick by Carlson is good, and they will stretch their lead to 10 now at 15-3. Still a little bit of time left here in the second quarter, but they do get three before the half and expand that lead. And they have to be happy about that, and we haven't met a team yet that doesn't put an emphasis on trying to get points on the board in the last two minutes of a half. They'll be real excited to have those up on the board. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. Washington now brings this out. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. The Broncos onto the field, ready to start their next drive. 
And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. So we reach halftime here in a 10-point game as we are off to Orlando now to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach? Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Back to you guys in a bit. But first, we welcome everyone to our EA Sports Halftime Report. First order of business, though. Let's get a look at the next-gen stats in that first half for Denver. And they didn't get a whole lot accomplished through the air in those first two quarters of play. They'll need to up their game if they want to rally all the way back. Meanwhile, for the Raiders, they too didn't throw the ball as well as they would have liked. And I think both teams would say there's room for improvement in the second half. All right, Coach, thanks very much. Fine work as always as we welcome you back for quarter number three. getting the football first in this second half as they trail and we are back underway. Washington now brings this out. And he's up past the 20 to the 22 yard line. Here comes the Broncos offensive unit here as he'll have it first to begin this third quarter. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively, virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, they've been playing pretty well. They've kept them around in this game. Now they've got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to focus on defending the pass here. They've got to re-energize that ground game and maybe open things up for a comeback here in this half. Neil Farrell putting his mark on the game with a sack. I'd say it's not panic time yet, but let's be honest about it. Empty possession here, not what you're looking for when you're down a couple of scores. Absolutely not. Trying to start the second half off on the right foot. Unfortunately, going to get the ball up. becomes twice as difficult now after the sack it's second and 20. Now we give up the middle to Williams and he'll take this one only up to about his 13 yard line and they only get a yard back there they'll be left with a third down and long now they struggled to get him rolling on the ground in the first half and that's sort of continuing here in the third quarter. Yeah but I don't think it's time to abandon the running game I would say keep feeding the horse and I believe they'll eventually reward them, especially as we get deeper in the game. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Steps away to his left. Nothing open downfield, so he'll throw it away. The goal is certainly to try and make a big play happen and climb back into this game, but you have to be careful. If you overdo it, you could turn it over and hurt your team. The Broncos send out their punter now. Standing about a yard deep in his own end zone. And a fair catch is taken here. A step or two inside the 45-yard line. It will be a 39-yard punt. No return. And the Raiders will take over now first and 10. the ground it's Jacobs to start the drive and a good pickup there he gets about six up to midfield 
get had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one. Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. Second down, Jacobs once more. And he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. First down. Wide open receiver complete. And it'll be stopped right at the 30. On a play that started back at the 15, they pick up 15. That's another beautiful throw right there. Gets it to his man right in stride. And I think that throw kind of exemplifies what we've seen from this offense throughout this game. They've been in rhythm. They've been sharp. They've been on it. And they pick up another first down there. So first and 10 now from the 30. Here's Bolden. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Not a huge carry there on first down, but not all of them will be. But still, all in all, a positive play for the offense. It's all about picking up at least a few to set up what you're going to do here on second down. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Now Carr. On the out route, this is Adams with a catch. And he's out of bounds. Almost gets to the 10. Carr finding his former college teammate Adams there for the Raider first. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode Really try to put the hammer down and finish this one off. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Now Carr. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. This has certainly been a physical game so far. Limited scoring opportunities for both sides. And there's another chance that goes unfulfilled. Now Carr, after the incomplete pass, brings him up second and ten. He'll look to throw. Flushed out right. And he'll just get rid of it. Excellent recognition that none of his receivers were beating coverage and getting open, so he just threw that one away. They'll come back to the huddle, reset, and try something different. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have him looking at third and ten. Car to throw again. And he's got it. And the Raiders are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. I think he has to be saying to himself, how did that not wind up a touchdown? Remember, he just did the tip of the ball to cross the plane. It's not going to get there, but they're going to be set up in great shape with first and goal. Jacobs is not going to get in. In fact, he'll lose a couple of yards back to the three. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense, countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft and able to really make a big-time play for their defense. So they're backed up to the three-yard line, second and goal. To throw, it's Carr. 
And this is caught. Touchdown, Raiders. Matt Collins from three yards out. And his guys now an extra point away from taking a three-score lead. That drive that really increased their cushion felt very military to me. Very precise, methodical as one of the words you've taught me. And they just got it done. And slowly but surely now starting to pull away a little bit. Things looking good for them here in the third quarter. Not only pulling away, you mentioned that slowly but surely. You also drain clock too in a drive like that. So you really give yourself an advantage. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And that'll make this a three-score game now. The lead moves to 17. Taken down just past the 20 at about the 21-yard line. And Denver getting set to take the field. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. So first and 10 here for Wilson and the Broncos at their own 21. Here's Williams to start the drive. And he gets this one just shy of the 40 down at the 39. 46 yards on the ground for him now on nine carries. First downs have not come easy, and neither have runs like this throughout this game. Absolutely not. He finally felt like, whoa, a sigh of relief. We got something going in the running game. From up near the 40 now after the big play to start. Here's another first and 10. Now Wilson. Escaping the pressure right. Running right through it. And they'll get this down to the 42-yard line. At least this time he's getting hit after a positive play for his offense. The pressure was coming through yet again, but he certainly didn't stick around for the sack on this occasion. Found an escape route and ended up getting the first down before taking the hit. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and 10. Here's Wilson. Eluding the pressure right. He'll let this go deep for Sutton. And he's got it inside the 10. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. A big pickup of 38. We see this happen so often. If you're a defender, it's like watching a bad movie over and over. The pressure's good, forcing the quarterback out of the pocket. But it's a lot to ask for these defenders to stay plastered to receivers long enough. And sure enough, they let a man come open, and the connection leads to a big play. So three plays already first and goal, and they are wasting little time. Now it's Wilson. Flush to his right. And he'll just chuck this one up into row G. It's incomplete. His impatience has to be bumping over, trying to find a way to get his team to the end zone for the first time. He did find a way to break contain and get outside to buy his receivers a little extra time, but the connection couldn't be made on that throw. Line of scrimmage, again the four-yard line, second and goal. Off the play fake, here's Wilson. Flushed out right. Under pressure now, and he's going to go down. Sack back around the eight. They'll wind up losing three there on the sack, and that makes things tougher here on third and goal. It's certainly one of those 
these quarterbacks who can burn you with his mobility, but that time able to hem him in and get him to the ground. Perfect descriptor right there about how they kept him in the pocket. Excellent job of containment, but they were still able to continue to bring some strong pressure without letting him escape. But how about those guys in the secondary as well? Kept the coverage tight, plastered to the receivers, and left no real options for him to throw it downfield. They've been denied touchdowns in the red zone twice already. Here comes third and goal. Touchdown, Broncos! Russ able to connect with Cortland Sutton there, and the Broncos get a bit closer. That's one of those long drives where not only do you score, but you really tire out the defense, too. That's a great point, because now they've been on the field for a long time. Them going to the bench, trying to make adjustments, trying to figure things out, but they'll do so fatigued. On here, Brandon McManus for the point after. It's up, it's good. That'll make the scoreline 20 to 10. A drive that time of six plays. And Cortland Sutton able to finish things off with the touchdown reception. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. Abdul is going to stay put, and the drive will start at the 25. The Raiders offense now, they trot back out. This now a 10-point game, so things tightening a little bit after that last score. come up first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And his throw here is incomplete. Not his best throw there, but where we sit right now in the third quarter, he's had a pretty good game throwing the football. He certainly has. And it's not exactly at the point where we're doing four-minute offense yet, but they've got to think about, I'm not going to say milking the clock, but understanding clock management here on out. Third quarter from Southern Nevada. Here's a second and ten. Throwing now is Carr. He's going to look deep down the field. And that will be incomplete. Trying to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. Well, you most certainly don't want to go three and out here and get the football right back because your friend, old momentum, he's wondering if he should change sidelines about right now. And if you don't convert here, Guess what? He's going to make the trek to the opposite side, and all of a sudden, you've got a battle on your hands. Looking deep for Adams. And unable to connect. Incomplete. I give him credit. They took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. Oh, I thought he had that one, and that was nearly a big third down conversion to give this drive some life. Instead, they're on the spot and help separate the receiver from the ball. Here's A.J. Cole now as he'll kick it away for the second time. That's pulled in at the 32. So a good punt, but a solid 12-yard return. And the Broncos take over. First down and 10. Here's the Denver offense now as they get set to take over here. The last time out, they had to march almost the full length of the field for their touchdown. So here, much easier, Charles, with this better starting field position. I love your sarcasm, but I love even more your observation because, look, what they did last time out, now with a shorter field, they should have a lot of confidence that they're going to put more points up on the board. Now Wilson on first down. Over the middle, complete to Judy. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch, and that'll bring up second down.
Here's Wilson. He completes this to Sutton. Yeah, he will go out right near the 35-yard line. 75 yards receiving for him now. It's a first down. From the gun, it's Wilson. That's complete to the tight end, Saubert. And they'll work this down inside the 30. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he could break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. That was second down one for Murray. What a great effort there. He's going to get this inside the 15, and they'll spot it at the 13-yard line. Nice run. It'll be a pickup of 16 and a Bronco first down. When he runs, he seems to do a nice job of knowing when to be patient and find the hole, and then when the hole is there, he goes quickly. You're exactly right. He knows how to just take off, but you know what else? Brings a little thump with him, doesn't he? He does. He packs the boom at the end of the run and finishes it going forward. That's what you want to see out of your backs. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. He finds his man complete. That's Murray. Only able to gain a couple there, and it'll be second down. Now a 10th carry, here's Williams. And he'll fight his way down inside the 10 of the nine yard line. Just a couple on the ground there, and that's gonna bring up third and about six. Three quarters in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Vegas. Welcome back, everybody. Seventh play of the drive upcoming here on third and six. Wilson. His pass caught at the four. That he won't quite make it. He needed six. He got about five. Fourth down. It is for baseball. We call this small ball. Instead of pushing it downfield, they throw a short pass trying to pick up the first down, but the defense rallies to the football and stops him short, bringing up a fourth down. So here now is Brandon McManus in a big spot. This will be just a 21-yard attempt. The kick by McManus is good. And that will tighten this one up a bit. Now a one-score game at 20 to 13. All right, so they needed two scores to get back in the game. The field goal there, maybe not exactly what they wanted, but the necessary first step. There's still time remaining, and there's enough time to get it done. They've got to get at the least a three and out here to get the ball back, preferably a takeaway. After splitting the uprights, McManus to kick it away. And Abdullah will not try to bring it out. The Raider offense now making their way toward the huddle. Their lead back down to one score after the field goal a moment ago, so they'll be looking to string together a few first downs, likely on the ground as they begin first and ten. Start with Bolden. 
And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. When you're lateral to the line of scrimmage, linebackers keep those shoulders square so they can go up and down. But when it's time to go, turn your shoulders just like a running back. Get through the line and hit the runner in the backfield. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Carr going to throw. The open man here, Renfro. They'll wind up losing a couple yards here on the play, and it'll be a third and about 13. And not an easy spot here. They'll be in search of 13 yards to try to pick up the first. On third and long, it's Carr. And yeah, this is caught, but I don't think he stayed in bounds. No, he didn't. It's incomplete. The throw took him past the boundary, and it's fourth. Critical play in this football game, because if they pick up the first there, that clock keeps rolling. Has to be a little frustrating for them, because they know that if they pick up a first down there and continue to eat away at the clock, really increases their chances of closing this one out. Now they're likely going to have to give the football up and sweat it out on the sideline. Following the punt return here, there's someone shaken up. We'll take a break and get a report from Vegas after this. The Broncos onto the field, ready to start their next drive. And last time, able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just, I, I like the way you, you described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Wilson. And Sutton hauls it in over the middle. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 14 yards that time for number 14. Now a first down carry, it's Williams. And this will be taken across midfield and into Raider territory. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Brandon, five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure if you're back, you spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300-plus pounders at the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. Williams going to get it again on second down. And he'll get it down here to the 43. 60 yards rushing for him now as he's carried it 13 times. And that's a nice pickup of a first down on that second down run. And at that yardage gained, they can run that play on any down. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and 10. Throwing is Wilson. Open man Hamler, that's complete. And he's going to be taken down at about the 33.
So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Now it's Wilson. Open man, he completes it to Judy. And he's going to get this down near the 25. Inside the 20 at the 19. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Well, we always talk about good down and distance, allowing offenses to expand their playbook. Well, second and two, that means your playbook's wide open. You can run just about anything. But a lot of times, the play caller, he just looks down at his sheet, sees the short yardage runs, and goes to one of those. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. They stay on the ground. This time, it's Williams. And they'll work this down to the 15 for a pickup of four. I think that run gives us evidence that the defense is getting a little bit tired out there. They've been out in the field for a long time. And that last run, they just cut right through. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. There's Wilson to throw. And his throw is going to be incomplete. It's a tried and true formula, and I don't think it'll change for as long as we play football. If someone's trying to throw the ball and you can put pressure on them and make it tough, that's only going to help your defense. Yeah, he's since being hurried. He got rid of it before taking the hit, but incomplete. This offense so far on third down, they've converted three times and eight chances. This will be third and six. And they get to him quickly here as he stops right around the 13. Give him three yards there as that'll take us to fourth down. Well, this was just simply excellent defense. On this third down, they had to be alert for the possibility of a pass, but that didn't stop them at all from understanding what was going on when they decided to run the football, and they just swarmed and stopped them for almost no game. Here we go. It's Wilson on fourth down. Buying time to his left. And it's going to be batted down. It will go the other way with the football. The Broncos unable to convert here on fourth. And the Raider D, they get the football back. Now that's just simply good coaching and excellent technique on that play. You know why? Because everyone wants to rush the passer when they want to throw the football. But you're not always going to get there. So what are you taught to do? When the ball's finally thrown, get your hands up in the passing lanes, and they batted that one away. No, 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 no. Carr and the Raiders come up first and 10 at their own 13. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Slant to Adams. And able to get it across the 20 before they get to it. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. That may seem a little unorthodox to some people. Got the lead, fourth quarter, and yeah, he's still firing away. I think he believes that's the best way to go ahead and win the game. Yeah, a lot of coaches say, let's just run the football, be conservative. He's sticking to his game plan. No, that is his game, and that's what they're going to ride. On first down, Carr. He'll find his tight end. That's Waller. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Solid gain of 18 and a Raider first down. But when you hit him on the move like that, and he's able to get into open field with a full head of steam, oh, boy, it's going to be tough to get him down. Yeah, there was a big window. They're lucky they did get him down. totally home free yet but it's looking good as they come up first and ten 
Here's Carr to throw. Looking again for Waller, and he's got him again. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work this to the 45. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Raider football as we get you reset. They've got a first and ten as they look to try and finish this one off. Here's Jacobs on first and ten. And he'll manage to pick up about four at second down. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. Second down, Jacobs once more. Oh, he's got some breathing room. What a nice burst there as he'll take this inside the 30 to the 28-yard line. stay on the ground with Jacobs and he'll be taken down just shy of the red zone at the 21. Now the Broncos will use their third and final timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. to Jacobs and he's taken down after a gain of three as they move it from the 22 to the 19. I like that run right there partner not the flashiest run not the one that's going to break for big yardage but he understands the situation and taking care of the football paramount and he got it done. Nursing that slim lead you're exactly right hold on to that ball. To throw his car Sliding out of the pocket. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked off by Pat Sertan. And the Broncos are going to take possession here. It's a touchback. And they'll take over at the 20-yard line. He got out of the pocket there. Was wondering what he was going to do with it. But I think he was calling. His receiver was calling for the ball, wasn't he? He certainly was a problem. He called for it too late. And when he delivered, they were all over him in the secondary and came up with the interception. So here is Wilson and the Broncos. Down 20 to 13. A little under a minute to go. How costly of an interception will that be? It's time to find out. First and 10. Wilson to throw. Escaping the pressure right. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And that is incomplete. Took a shot there on first down, but he couldn't reel it in. This defense has watched their lead dwindle away. This is where they really need to pull up. They executed well there. And it's often hard after you've played really well early, and then you kind of relax a little bit to step on the gas again. They just did it on the last play. Looks like they want to finish this one off. He finds his man complete. It's Murray. 
It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. I really like the angles that the tacklers came from on that play. They secured inside, took away the cutback. The sideline's there, so you can only go so far outside. And they were able to close in and tackle him for a loss. Yeah, they use your boy over there, the 12th man. Sammy Sideline, right? Sammy Sideline, you know something? He tackles pretty well, too. He's tougher than an airport stake. Wilson. Finding Sutton. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. A good pickup there. 26 yards. No time match again. Go quick here. First down now, but that clock rolling. Here's Wilson. He finds his man complete. It's Murray. And the defense here giving him no recourse but to get out of bounds after a gain of just a yard. Second and nine. Throwing now is Wilson. He's going to let it fly. And that is incomplete, stopping the clock with five seconds to go. One final shot now. I'm not even sure he can get it to the end zone, though, from this distance. That's going to take as much arm as he has, and you actually have to plan for the contingency. Maybe you're playing a tip, try and get someone down who can tip it up and keep it for your own team and try and get to the end zone that way. One last shot for Wilson. He's got a man complete. And he'll get this one down near the 20 yard line. Just shy of the 20. A fun, close ball game comes to an end. On that last play, Charles, they were on the wrong side of midfield. They needed something near a miracle, and they couldn't get it done. Yeah, the effort. That was good. Very good, in fact. They were just a little too far out to get a decent look at the end zone for that last opportunity. Couldn't get it done, but a nice game overall.